Pipitello Soul Shorts shares this scary video, whose original source is unknown. Although we don't have context, we can assume this group is touring a haunted place when something unexpected happens. Oh, 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 I don't know. There's no up on there now, bro. That one drop kicked my soul from my body. <laughs> Although the clip is short and we don't see what causes this mayhem, I think it's safe to say whatever it is is out to cause fear. A YouTuber named JMX decides to push himself to his absolute limits by taking one of the most extreme YouTube challenges yet. What are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be not drinking water for 48 hours. To be clear, this challenge includes not just abstaining from liquids, but also from any food products with water in them as well. Things are going okay at first, but after about 20 hours into the challenge, his thirst starts to get the better of him. JMX's voice becomes scratchy and his lips grow white and chapped. He said he feels confused and not like himself at all, and there are still more than 24 hours to go. Four hours to go till we're halfway, so we're 20 hours down, and yeah, I still kind of, kind of feel like, yeah, to be honest, I, just, I honest, I, I, I want to drink so bad. By the second day, he comes down with a bad cold and feels completely terrible. He does not look or sound like the same person we saw at the beginning of the video. Watch this part and tell me if you agree. Okay, we're about three hours away now. I honestly just want to <laughs> drink something. By hour 46, he feels like he might be in serious trouble, but he refuses to give up this far in. A friend makes him book a doctor's appointment, and JMX tries to finish the last two hours of the challenge under medical supervision. The doctors eventually force him to take in fluids through a needle before the 48 hours are up. JMX thinks that being given fluids through a needle does not count as breaking the challenge. Either way, I'm glad he experienced no long-lasting effects from this experiment. Alberto Del Arco is a paranormal investigator based out of Mexico, another veteran of YouTube paranormal channels. He has been posting investigations since 2009 and has amassed over 2 million subscribers and nearly 256 million views. In his latest video, he and his team visited an abandoned school almost completely reclaimed by the surrounding woods. Encounters begin rather quickly upon their entry, as they hear the voice of a girl say a qui. This roughly translates to in here. Could the spirit of a former student be leading them to her location? Chillingly enough, the apparition of a little girl briefly appeared in front of Arco as the ghost was speaking, then disappears as the flashlight is pointed at her. Could this be the same ghost who was speaking? The team walks into the room where the apparition appeared and finds several deaths shelves, and even old school books in poor condition. As they continue to search the room, another figure is seen moving silently past a window to Arco's left. It is hard to see on its own, but the crew thankfully enhanced the image in editing. The figure appears humanoid, albeit cloudy and disfigured. A minute later, Arco captures what appears to be an orb briefly appearing on camera moving from right to left. Wow. As the team moves to another part of the building, faint laughs can be heard coming from the woods. They all hear it and pause. Hey, si algo atrás allá. Considering they are in a wooded area, the possibility of some sort of wild animal cannot be forgotten. But considering all the activity they have gotten already, could this be a spirit laughing at them from the woods? The second possibility seems more likely when the team hears a man scream soon after. This time, the sound is clear and resembles a grown man rather than an animal. It is also louder than the laugh, as if it is closer to their position, as they are about to enter a bathroom. Quick. 
The team is startled back by a dog barking. While unseen, it is close to where they are. They walk around to see if they can find where the barks are coming from, but find no such luck. However, it is likely just a stray dog who has made the derelict building its home and is trying to protect themselves, not wanting to go up against the dog. The team ventures away from the building and into the woods. They soon stumble upon a second structure. As they enter, more dogs still barking from inside, so they proceed with caution. Over the barks, Arco hears what sounds like a woman crying. This is terrifying for anyone who knows the legend of La Llorona from Mexican folklore. It is now Arco asking the crew to turn off their lights to look. Dog howls can be heard resembling the crying, but a distinct woman's cry can also be heard if listened closely. As the investigation comes to a close, Arco leaves a static night camera at the location overnight and captures an apparition floating in the room above some chairs and desks. Were all of these encounters related to one another, or did they happen to be lucky to find multiple different entities at once? There's a good reason why this creepy kid's bike has been relegated to the roof. It is only supposed to play this lullaby for a minute, but so far it's been a half hour and counting. Hi, Thari in India here, and this is so freaking haunted. Nope. Hey. No. Stop it! The voice soon changes to a more sinister tone, and I think I can almost hear other voices coming out of it too. I'm running away. What the hell is that? Oh my. If you do a seance in a haunted home, expect the spirits to come out to play. Published by Ali H in March of 2022, something is wreaking havoc in this haunted house. After seeing this unexplained mess in their kitchen, this couple was left wondering who is responsible. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. Maybe it's this weeping spirit. Do you hear that? Later, Ali is in another room of the home when a loud thud sounds from the next room. He goes to check it out and finds the spirits have made another tornado of a mess. He tries to communicate with the poltergeist through a spirit box, and as he's recording, the spirit pulls up a chair. Oh my! <laughs> Later, Ali hears someone or something coming up the stairs. Are the spirits gathering round? It certainly seems like it. You head outside for a nice peaceful evening stroll when you encounter this, posted to TikTok by Daniela Duque. The uploader says in the clip, something happened that changed my life check. The clip shows at least a dozen people all dressed in white, wandering down the empty street carrying torches. It's not clear what's going on here. Many in the comments are saying this looks like the set from a movie. Others suggest the horror film Midsommar. While some think this group is cult-like, perhaps performing a ritual. Still others consider this is more likely the purge. Are you ready for it? I'm not. Walking home in the dark is never a treat. It's even worse if you cross paths with something like this. Posted to YouTube in February of 2018 by Rohit Mukherjee. This ghost sighting was caught on camera in India. The YouTuber writes that one of his uncle's friends captured the creature on camera while returning home late from work with a friend. He writes, As he was coming down the road, he heard some noises, mostly shrieks, and he thought it might be an animal or something. 
As he was looking around, he saw something on the trees and pointed his mobile camera towards it. And then he saw this mysterious creature. The footage does show a figure in the trees. It looks like a human outline. At first, you assume it's just some oddity in the shadows, but then it moves. After seeing this creature, the men say, Bug Bug, which means run, run. They then raced home and sent the video to Rohit's uncle. What do you think this figure could be? A ghost, an evil shadow, or some other strange entity? Or maybe it's just a monkey? I'm freaking myself out. Go away! A Reddit poster named Drexana13 catches an invisible watcher using nothing other than the face detection software of her Snapchat filter. She says she could feel someone breathing on her, and this does seem likely because more than once, the spirit gets as close as it can to her. <laughs> and is practically right on top of her as she backs into the elevator. But is it really a teleporting apparition? Or is Snapchat mistaking the dark circular areas between these lights as eyes? I think it's up for debate, but this Redditor seems to have made up her mind. Oh, and one last thing. It may have climbed into the elevator with her. There's a white light here that might be the reflection of her phone screen, but the movements don't quite match. So what do you think it is? If some entity starts throwing things, it's probably best to leave. Published by HD Adam in November of 2021, this scary video explores a ritual house. During his first walk through, a strange noise is heard off to the side. Something is in this house with Adam. The fear builds as a door slams shut. Sending the towels shaking on their hooks. Later, while Adam is talking to the camera, the curtains are jerked behind him. The spirits get angrier and throw a bucket when Adam doesn't get the message the first time. And then start throwing the pots. <laughs> Even scarier, a telephone rings. And when he finds no one on the other end, something knocks on the door. If someone is there, it doesn't reveal itself, but the disturbances continue, with heavy pails falling, windows bursting open, and doors swinging inexplicably. Later, when Adam does his own ritual, sitting on the floor and burning a candle, a metal object to his right starts to shake aggressively. A minute later, the lights go out and something else shakes loudly off camera. Would you be able to spend an evening in this haunted house? I can't take a minute more. It's 6 in the morning, and a YouTuber named Sheezy is about to go home after a long shift at the hospital. All he needs to do is return this one-ton x-ray machine and then clock out. Unfortunately for him, the elevator gets stuck on the fifth floor and suddenly drops to the first floor without warning. It happens so fast that the floor numbers don't even register until the very end, but it's not over yet. The elevator rushes from the ground floor to the fifth floor, ready to drop again. And if that x-ray machine slides back and pins him against the wall, it wouldn't matter if he's at a hospital or not, because it's going to flatten him in seconds. Oh, 
this time he hits the emergency stop before he can drop again. After a minute and a half, engineers rush to get him out of there. It's the middle of the night and Anna Grayson keeps hearing heavy thumping sounds coming from the hallway. She spends a full minute walking around to make sure that everybody is asleep, which they are. As soon as she gets back into her room, the house becomes extremely still and suspenseful. I get the sensation of being watched here, do you? Anna does not feel safe at all, peeks under the door, probably half expecting to see shoes on the other side. She doesn't see that, but what she experiences next indeed confirms her suspicions. The fact that she patrols the entire house and hears nothing until the moment she steps back into her room makes me think that someone else is in the house with Anna and her family, something that will patiently wait until everyone's guard is down to strike. This grainy cell phone video comes from the SNDT Women's University in Mumbai, India. They are walking down a long hall filled with various classroom conversations when they see another student coming the opposite way. Well, I guess they didn't technically see them, since it was only a pair of shoes with nobody attached. Tell me, am I losing my mind? Or if this really is a ghost student going to class? A YouTuber named Danny's World records scary noises in the woods at night, a fierce five minute struggle between two animals outside of his house. This way. I'm not sure if this is real or not because at no point does he turn his camera light on, which is strange. Maybe he doesn't want to attract the attention of whatever this mysterious creature is. He's talking about how this sounds like no creature he's ever heard before. In the woods of South Carolina, it sounds to me like this could be a rake sighting, especially at 2 minutes and 48 seconds when it apparently imitates a person whining for help. There's so much wildlife here in South Carolina, it's hard to tell. This is not it. What the? Or maybe it's simply editing. This New Orleans restaurant called Tableau's is thought to be haunted by a ghost who will punish you for what it perceives as any bad beverage selections. Here a waiter is preparing the room for a private party and has finished stocking the refreshments when, coincidentally, the bottles all fly off the shelf and land in the exact area he had just finished sweeping. Three separate comments in this video further verify that this restaurant is quite haunted. One person said the window in this very same room unlatched itself, another said the fire alarm went off on its own, and a third person said they are never going there again because the spirit was staring at them. These comments, combined with this video evidence, is enough to build a strong case for the paranormal in my opinion, but let me know what you think. Basements are inherently creepy, but this basement's resident shadow person will make your skin crawl. A shadow person was caught on camera in a Pennsylvania basement on December 15th, 2016. The YouTuber writes, For the last few months there have been weird bangs and noises in our basement. Sounds like someone is walking up and down our steps. He goes on to say that his wife thought it was their cats at first, since their litter box is in the basement, but on the night in question, their cats were upstairs in their daughter's room, and their dog was in his cage in the kitchen, whining about the basement noise. He brought a camera to prove to his wife that the cats weren't making this noise, which had started out of nowhere a few months prior. This thing I caught on camera I am at a loss over, he writes. Now I am terrified in this house. As he heads down the stairs to the basement, a shadow person peers around the corner, frightening the man. I know I heard you. Holy oh my God. He runs down the stairs at it, trying to catch it on camera up close, but it disappears around the corner and isn't caught again. YouTuber Wyoming Oregon points out, if you pay attention to when he first turns the cam, around right before he cuts on the lights, it was standing there on the stairwell and ran down the stairs. 
Most confirm Wyoming's take, with many agreeing it was extremely creepy. Others say they've seen these shadow people in real life before. The uploader notes that they've decided to move after watching this video, as they don't want to raise their daughter in a haunted house. After seeing this, can you blame them? A TikToker named Presley Belshare is making a video when her closet door opens from the inside. Coincidentally, it happens to be at the exact moment. The male backup vocals kick in during the song, which unfortunately I don't think I can play in this video. Presley Belshare says that she did not plan this video at all. I probably believe her because when the door opens, it looks like a white flash of light comes from within the closet if you look close enough. Let me know if you think I'm way off base or if you think you can see it too. If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, the uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly, and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, it shows only her limb movement for a while, when she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair. Something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past it to sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. A YouTuber named Lord Cryptid looks up to see a gorilla-sized creature staring at him from a short distance away. The head and shoulders are clearly defined, but it's not moving at all, so Lord Cryptid decides to get a closer look. It continues to silently regard him as he closes in. Now only a thin patch of thickets and reeds separates him from the threat before him, and when he zooms in, you're not going to believe what he sees. He is only meters away and it still looks like a humanoid, not a bear. But when the camera focuses, what was originally an astoundingly scary creature is actually little more than a tree stump. I'm including this video because I feel like it could explain many of the other similar cryptid sightings in the woods. So in the future, unless the creature actually moves, it's probably just a stump. A man finally feels like he's caught paranormal evidence of his haunted basement. Guys, I'm just cooking some food, watching the game today. I was just down in my basement and the scariest thing that happened to me, I was down there and... Holy did you guys just see that? You guys saw that, I just had those plates right there. When he looks at the home security system, this sweeping shadow figure is what he's caught on tape. I'm not sure what to make of this, because the thought of seeing a shadow person in the basement is really creepy. This shadow figure could be CGI, but the uploader hasn't said a word if so. Do you think it's real? A YouTuber named Yara records herself singing in her room when a visitor approaches, or maybe it's just the sound of her tablet getting put down. You wanna say? She looks down the hallway. You wanna say? It looks like a lock gets popped, but no doors open. There are no footsteps, no one says hello, and then... <laughs> Yara claims she saw a demon, but that's a lot for me to believe without the physical proof. I will say that those two noises were awfully odd, and it didn't sound like anyone else was with her before they occurred. Believe it or not, this doll is scarier than she looks. Published by Rota X in November of 2020, they encounter this creepy doll directly upon entering, covered in red. Let's hope that's paint. And then this happens. <laughs> After they're running away as fast as they can from the demon doll, they realize the presence is still with them. It makes itself known via the EMF meter. Has whatever possessed that doll latched onto them? Time to call an exorcist. What is this thing drifting in the sky over Poland? 
This mysterious video was posted in a private Polish Facebook group and shared to the UFO subreddit by Redditor Revolutionary Kale 46. Let's watch. It floats undisturbed over the field, even peaceful in its descent. Unfortunately, the clip ends there, and we don't see if or where it lands. Some Redditors think it's a Mondo Shawin ship looking after the elements. That actually looks pretty spot on to me. It's got my vote. Uh, this is not like your regular staircase. It's just not like where you can look directly all the way to the first floor. A man knows his apartment building has a ghost in the stairwell. He nods politely at someone going downstairs. Time passes and then he notices something strange. I haven't heard of exit though. That's the weird thing. He saw someone enter. He heard them go down the steps and yet they never leave. More weird sounds is the only response he gets. He seems like a different person in a video update six months later, much more cautious, like a lot has happened to him in the time since. Creepy things have been happening here, and I know this place is definitely haunted. This is where things get weird in a creepy way. The door he just came through is now open, and downstairs is a dark space that suddenly clears up. What is that? I gotta look at that. That was a shadow figure. When he goes to where the alleged shadow figure was, nothing's there. Here it is one more time zoomed in at 22 seconds. I might see a small figure, but help me decide if it's paranormal or just my imagination. Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. Even though this snake wasn't on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson would probably not appreciate its presence on this train platform. Tweeted by Triple G RTO, he writes, Being a train operator for NYCT Subway, I thought I have seen it all, but this can't be real. Oh, it's real, alright. This feet-long snake, 
which has been identified as a non-venomous black eastern rat snake, was spotted on a subway platform in New York City on August 10, 2020. The species can grow up to 7 feet and is native to the East Coast region, from Connecticut down to South Carolina and west to Kansas. It feeds on rodents, which may be why it's lurking in a New York subway station. As the enormous snake weaves slowly across the platform, a commuter stands not far off, waiting for her train's arrival. The MTA addressed the situation in a tweet writing, this is a new one for us. They were investigating the matter and aren't aware how it got there, although the reptile doesn't appear to have an owner, so may have just been out for a midday stroll or slither. Still, I'm sure many New Yorkers wouldn't want to share the L train with this scaly passenger. Anyone who's still in school has no doubt learned by now that remote learning is not very fun. However, every once in a while, something will happen to liven up the lesson or in this case, make it absolutely terrifying. This teacher has been cooped up all by himself for far too long and really doesn't seem to be enjoying his job or much of anything nowadays. To make things worse, the students keep playing a joke on him by saying that there is something watching him from behind. He knows that students like to mess with their teachers however they can, and so he tells them that it's just him and his dog living there and no one else. Little does he know how truly wrong he is. Around the corner is the pale grim face of a ghost, half covered in shadows as it peers in from the dark hallway. I wonder if her other side is twisted and disfigured. We never get to see. In true paranormal fashion, the scary face dares not to enter the light and retreats before its discovery. The teacher goes on to explain that he just moved into this house, and so there's no way anyone is behind him. But once again, he is schooled by the supernatural. The door opens without anyone touching it, and as the girl retreats into the next room, his dog, who has been quiet this whole time, starts barking out like a stranger is near. It whimpers as he closes the door. The poor thing definitely doesn't want to be left alone. Ghost Hunters Bro Sham and iStudio team up for one of the scariest paranormal explorations in Indonesia. This time they're exploring a haunted hospital that gives them chills, literally. So di depan saya memang hutan eh, hutan beluka. He senses a drop in temperature. The camera goes out of focus. A shadow stretches out to him and then goes away. When he looks over, it's nowhere to be found. They spend a long time exploring the courtyard for more paranormal activity, but get no further signs. Inside, the hospital is being taken back by the rainforest one room at a time, but plenty of the place remains haunted. Salaamu The voice is coming from a room that has a drawing of a witch-like head on the wall. There's no other drawings anywhere else in the hospital, just here. Whatever drew this knew what was in here. As they leave this haunted place, they find this figure upright in the forest, face and body wrapped up in a single cloth, not making a single sound. I don't know if it's a ghost or one of them pretending to be a spirit, but it's creepy and they get out of there without getting any closer. This short clip from a paranormal investigation leaves me wanting more. As the device is going off, Danny from Nighthawks Paranormal asks the spirit politely to back off. Can you step away, please? Thank you. And it listens. Then the spirit politely asks him to back off. 
If you want me to leave. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This intriguing exchange has me convinced that ghosts really are trying to communicate with us, and it has me convinced to watch the full investigation. As the name of his YouTube channel would suggest, Abroad in Japan provides helpful advice meant for anyone planning an extended stay in the country of Japan. Chris has lived there for over seven years, and most of his videos deal with common topics such as cultural differences and spending tips. Two videos in particular, however, chronicle his experiences with Japan's supernatural. October 16th, 2018 is when Chris bikes with his friend Joey in search of an eerily abandoned tunnel that's rumored to be haunted. They don't know much about its history, but one look at how narrow it is, and it's hard to imagine a car squeezing through. The tunnel was apparently abandoned after too many lives were ended by unsafe driving. Now it lies on the side of the mountain, becoming more overgrown with each day. The first thing they notice is this strange human-like imprint on the wall, perhaps the spirit of someone who lost their life here. It's looking up towards the sky, and pale skin. Even the flowing sleeves of her dress are visible. It creeps them out and makes them want to get this over with so they can leave. As they are contemplating what all of this means, their camera records even more evidence that something is nearby. It's a soft voice whispering something in Japanese. Tell me if you can understand. I think it's real because the voice echoes off the tunnel walls. The exit is only a short distance away, so there's no big dramatic dash to safety or anything like that. They are suitably freaked out by now, and when they go to leave, this mysterious third person, shadow figure to be precise, is waiting for them at the end. Oh, and there is one other odd discovery in the haunted tunnel that I forgot to mention. I don't even want to know what this mysterious device was used for. It looks like it goes around a wrist or on an ankle and doesn't come off. So as strange as this paranormal encounter was, it was only scary enough to teach Chris his lesson for a year or two. February 16th, 2020 is when Chris stayed in Japan's most haunted hotel, a place known only as the Ryaku Fuso Inn. This is where the spirit of a young boy has been roaming the wealthiest people in Japan for over 600 years. That's a long time to be a troublesome little ghost. And by now, he's gotten pretty good at his job. So what Chris sees that night should come as no surprise. This is where the spirit of a young boy has been haunting the wealthiest people in Japan for over 600 years. That's a long time to be a troublesome little ghost, and by now he's gotten pretty good at his job. So what Chris sees that night should come as no surprise. He and his friend wait until after hours to visit the memorial, where the boy is said to frequent, a shrine built in his name to keep him from becoming evil and cursed. I think I see the outline of a boy looking at them, and the blue window above, as one of them kneels down at the altar. And they must have done something wrong because this happens. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Not only does a child scream, but a face appears over his shoulder shortly afterwards. They go back to their hotel room afterwards and don't think much of it, but the next day, Chris's friend reports an encounter that really troubles him. It seems as if they could have been followed after all. Like, I couldn't move my body, and uh, I heard someone, like, kind of um, standing on my um, chest. chest, and then and, she, and he or she, whoever, touched my cheek. I'm not sure if this last part is a paranormal encounter or sleep paralysis, a condition in which people are unable to move and often think they see a shadow figure moving towards them. Caden Parker meets up with some friends at a local skate park and finds someone much older trying to pick arguments with everyone he sees. Big man! Who's big man? You, right? I'm going for a sleeper. Dude, come on. Just can you just like leave us alone? We're, we're just trying to have a good time enjoying the nice weather. Like, Who cares? Is it? I'm, I'm going for a sleeper. Soon he turns his attention towards Caden and tells him he's going to put him in a submission hold if he comes down from the ramp. 
By now, the skate park has mostly cleared out, so it's just a face-off between Caden and this angry stranger. Dude, the police are on the way. I hope you know that. I hope so. I have a I, I didn't, I didn't saw the the Skate park. Skate park. And he's kind of picked fights with little kids. <laughs> Alright then. Make yes, Yo, tell him to send an officer ASAP. An officer shows up right before things get any more out of hand. I really don't think this is a fake video because the officer walks up and puts him in cuffs straight away. Apparently, he has a long history of doing this and nobody seems to be acting. After he's taken away, the park fills back up with people who are scared away. Caden Parker shows a lot of bravery standing up for them, as well as self-restraint by not stepping forward when challenged. Had this escalated. He could be in as much trouble as the person who is actually in the wrong. He did everything right in my opinion and is allowed to enjoy the rest of his day peacefully as a result. A YouTuber named Lou Rock is live streaming from a supposedly haunted location known only as the Yellow House. He and his friend are cautiously poking around the abandoned building when a faint noise sends them running directly into a large room to investigate. The room is bare except for an inordinate number of gnarled clothes hangers in the closet, which begin twisting in unison, almost as if in acknowledgement of their presence. There's not a window open in here. Wow. This is on live stream, so you can see for yourself at no point did they touch the hangers. I think the hangers really are being moved by an unseen force based on what I'm about to show you next. As you can see from this video, there is no wind moving the blinds or curtains at all, so it couldn't have been a draft moving the hangers. They continue to find more weird miscellaneous objects scattered around the house, including a rope tied to a ripped kid's shoe. It looks like somebody was hung up by their feet. Giant holes have been punched into the wall of this room, either from destructive teens or from the previous house owner during an aggressive fit of rage. Just as they are sensing something deeply wrong with the kitchen, something brings them back into the room with blown out walls. Yeah, me too. What's that? They are genuinely creeped out by now and don't make it much further before the sound returns again. Alright, we're out of here. At this point, Lou Rock wisely decides to leave before he becomes the Yellow House's next permanent resident. You shall not pass. YouTuber 32 Jeremiah Nongtrod 2K17 captured a witch guarding a remote dirt road in the darkness of night. <laughs> The witch stands in the middle of the road, unmoving for more than a minute. Just when it seems like she will never leave, she finally hobbles off and vanishes into the darkness. <laughs> the guys drive forward to look for her, but she's nowhere to be found. Where did she go, and what was she doing there in the first place? Although this video has no answers, it's obvious to me that whatever that was in the road, witch, ghost, or demon, it was not to be crossed. These guys were smart to keep their distance. Even ghosts are trying to go to college. Published to YouTube by Philip Potgeiter in March of 2016, this freaky school video was captured at Helpmecker College in Johannesburg, South Africa. The footage shows a phantom figure gliding down the hallway at around 11 at night. It edges towards a wall and merges into what we can assume is a classroom to the right. The figure disappears without further explanation. Is this ghost just heading to its next night class, or does it need help from Helpmecker to cross into the beyond? Warning to young explorers, don't enter abandoned malls at night.
Jaskin Ho published this footage in September of 2018, illustrating exactly why, explaining that the mall in question is Charlestown Outlet Mall in the US. He writes, This is an older video I thought I'd drop for you guys. The mall closed for good over 30 years ago, and I did record a video here before, but there was talk about the basement level, so we went in. While the first nine minutes reveal your typical exploring of the abandoned mall, nine minutes in, one of the crew peers into a dark room beyond, and that's when he hightails it out of there, followed closely by the rest. One of the bunch says they were running for nearly five minutes. According to the one who first ran, he saw someone in the room beyond. Although the video didn't capture the figure, we can only imagine what this group came across. And with that in mind, I think they made the right choice getting out of there ASAP. Like most cats, this one can snooze all day. She's right here asleep, right? She's not even moving. But unlike most cats, this one will wake from a deep sleep whenever the door to the basement is touched, even putting its paw out as if to greet whatever's on the other side. This time it's more curious than normal, more driven. The cat seems to pay extra attention to the doorknob in particular. It really wants in. Then the door opens. What I don't understand is I can do this to any door. She won't care. Holy... Despite being closed and latched, the door pops open, even assuming the cat did slide its paw under the door and somehow opened it. What is down there that has its interest, and why only this door? Live TV caught the earth-trembling tsunami that smashed into Japan. After a magnitude 9 quake on March 11, 2011, the images that followed are pretty terrifying. The earthquake was so powerful that it was felt everywhere, from the fjords in Norway to the ice sheet of Antarctica. It was so powerful that it redistributed the Earth's mass and shifted it on its axis. Our day's length has been cut short by a microsecond. It was so powerful that Honshu, Japan's main island, was moved about 8 feet east, and as the tsunami traversed the Pacific, 110,000 nesting seabirds were taken out by the 5-foot wave. It was so powerful that aftershocks continued to hit Japan during the year that followed, 5,000 to be exact. It was so powerful that six years later, and the tsunami's devastation is still being dealt with in Japan, where of the 150,000 evacuees still left, whose homes were lost to the quake, a third are still in temporary housing. As for the cost of damages in US dollars, it rang in at about 199 billion, but because the earthquake was followed up by the tsunami and both were unexpected, the two in one had devastating results. It got worse. A cooling system failure resulted from the tsunami at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, releasing radioactive materials. A horrible event in and of itself told you nature can be terrifying. Numerous cameras around this home have captured paranormal activity shared by YouTube channel GND Studios. This is video proof of a haunting. The first instance is subtle. The next one, though, not so much. Then, at around 3 in the morning, a bunch of noises captured on camera, along with movement. Back in the kitchen, something is playing in the curtain. And back at the front door, something is playing in the jacket. Yet. 
in my opinion. This is some pretty straightforward footage. I think now's the time to invest in some sage. The Bassett Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that, oh. it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. Linfamous TV goes ghost hunting in the woods of Long Island, and they say this place is truly haunted. They are expecting the ghost sighting of a lifetime, and what they've caught on camera does not let them down. Yeah. They aren't sure what they heard and so they press forward despite feeling scared early on. The deeper they go, the more haunted things start to look and feel. Over here, it looks like it's something from a horror movie. Right. The woods right here are really spooky. Something is wrong with this part of the woods. They can feel it, but being ghost hunters means doing creepy stuff all the time and so they go down this path against better judgment. Cold spot. Completely blocking out the sky. <laughs> I thought it was her friend, but it's not. At five minutes and fifty-eight seconds, Lynn's friend is to the right. He is still to the right at six minutes when Lynn looks left and then up at the trees. When she brings the camera down, a ghost is there. There is a ghost on the left. Her friend, meanwhile, is still standing to her opposite side as they try to consult her GPS system and get weird interference. Well, on the map, what does it take us to? Does it, does it look like it ends? I'm sure. Like in Hauntington or something. <laughs> like, I kind of see. What? Their GPS loudly messes up and takes them in a wide loop for almost three hours before it straightens out. Weird how their equipment does this the same minute they have this paranormal encounter. Oh, and one last thing. Lynn's friend is wearing a baseball hat. This ghost looking straight at them does not. Therefore, I have a strange feeling that this ghost sighting video could be real. Walking down an empty hallway can sometimes send shivers all over your body especially when the hallway looks like this. Spurg Burglar from Washington in the US uploaded this spooky video in 2016. He says that his flat is upstairs and he makes his way through this hallway in the middle of the night six days a week. The hallway in and of itself is spooky. The sound on top of it is nothing short of ominous. The noise certainly is thumping and rhythmic like music, but it's unclear what it is or where it's coming from. It gets louder as the uploader approaches the end of the hallway and the beginning of a new one. A new sound enters into the mix, like a heart pounding. While the thumping declines, the heart pounding remains. Then you hear some sort of haunting music enter in faintly before it escalates the closer he gets to the elevator. The video of the hallway also distorts a bit. Your heart races as you anticipate a jump scare from something unknown, but when he pushes the elevator button, the audio disappears. What could this possibly be? I don't know if I want to know. This YouTuber is exploring the Talaker Abbey in Wales when he notices a strange animal face in the stone. 
It's hard to see at first, but you can make out the face of a pig here. This prompts him and his group to examine the area more closely, eventually discovering a series of even more startling finds. They soon realize that this is not a natural rock formation, but rather some kind of ritualistic stone altar from ancient times past. The smooth surface was probably used for some sort of human and animal offerings. Proper seats on it, little church thing there. Finally, he zooms in on the clawed feet of the altar, and the video ends shortly thereafter. It's hard to say whether this is some kind of stage prop, or if they really did stumble across a hidden evil deep within an old cave. The friends seem more curious than scared, which is a strange reaction, but then again if I was there, I probably wouldn't know what to think either. Overall, I'd say this video has a good chance of being real, but I would like to get some other opinions. A YouTuber named Hello Ryan Holmes lives in a house that you and I want no part of. Scary noises have become part of a daily ritual stemming from paranormal activity, or so he suspects. So when it happens again, Ryan grabs a camera to see if he can catch a ghost on video. Did you just did you just hear that? I definitely just heard somebody run up the stairs. Ryan thinks he hears creeping noises of a ghost running up the stairs. Ghost or not, he is definitely not alone. Camera in hand, Ryan gets no further than the kitchen before he realizes. What the f All of the cabinets have mysteriously opened on their own, and when he goes to close them. Why the f is everything open? What the f What the f He turns around only to find that the ghost has moved every object in his kitchen back to where it was. It looks normal at first, but I think there is an editing cut here at two minutes when he briefly zooms into the cabinet for no reason at all. He could have stopped recording, moved all of the objects, and then started recording again to make it seem like it was all done in one take. Jazz Kin Ho and a friend decide to open a deep web box in a public place just in case they need to quickly get help. A short while later, they find this religious necklace, almost as if it was placed there to ward off evil. Next is a series of old photographs with X's over them. It's like they've been hunted or something, and then crossed out one by one. People crossed out. Whoever this is crossed out. <sighs> a baby. I'm curious as to what this device is used for. It looks similar to something I've seen people in other videos use to communicate with spirits. Then again, it kind of looks like it could even be used to measure radiation. Jammed inside of a glass bottle is a baby doll that's covered in all red. Its head is busted open, and inside of the red gelatinous substance is a key for a box. Okay, I'm gonna open this quick because I do. Inside this box, there's a dead spider. There's three teeth and 10 cents. Um, enough's enough with that. I'm closing that and I'm locking that back up. If this box is real, then I think whoever sent it has a real penchant for children's belongings. Perhaps everything in the box was taken from the sender's own personal collection. Imagine this in the middle of the forest. Sure. Yeah. I'm out of it. That's what YouTube team Ghost Theory heard in these haunted woods during a paranormal investigation, and apparently it knows something. Come and touch the device if you know anything about the girl that was... A second question results in more mysterious answers. If what that girl was not a person. And then another unfortunate one. Is that a skinwalker? And finally, they hear it. Yeah. I'm out of it. 
I'd be out of there too. I have no idea what a skinwalker sounds like, but to me, that did not sound animal, nor did it sound human. A YouTuber named RFAM is doing a gym vlog when their punching bag begins moving on its own. Slowly at first, but gaining momentum over time. So even if she pushed it herself, it should slow down over time and eventually settle down. But that's not what happens at all. She dances for almost 10 minutes and the punching bag sways back and forth the entire time. What I can't understand is how she dances so close and doesn't notice the whole time. I guess she must have really been into her routine. There's no strings attached to the piece of equipment. And aside from this explanation, I can't think of any other way she could have faked it. This this medicine ball also starts moving in the exact same way with no one touching it, at least no one that I can see, and no shadows on the wall to indicate someone off camera. Again, I can't believe she walks right by, but I suppose she simply feels comfortable at home and isn't exactly looking for anything out of the ordinary. When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification, alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure? Most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. A creepy stranger in a crazy mood is apparently trying her best to freak out the owner of this doorbell camera. With all the weird things she's caught on tape doing, she walks towards the doorbell camera while making a face, and she turns around when she sees the headlights of an oncoming car. Clearly aware that she's doing something wrong and afraid of getting caught, she steps away as the car passes, but soon she's back at it again, this time chomping at the the camera and then doing some weird movements with her arms. Maybe she's got the wrong house and thinks she knows the owner of this doorbell cam. Maybe she's trying to get their attention and wants to be let in. She doesn't necessarily look dangerous but doesn't appear to be in her right mind and could probably change moods at any moment. So I don't blame the homeowner for not opening the door and seeing what she wanted. I doubt it was anything good. Mo Sargi is exploring an old train station that's supposed to be haunted. A few things happen during this expedition, two of which are so subtle that no one notices. The group keeps saying that they hear a little girl crying, but you can't hear it very well so I won't bother including it here. Still, at around 6 minutes and 50 seconds into the video, they come across very tiny handprints smeared across the window of a train. None of them seem to notice, but if you look closely, you'll see them here. Maybe these prints belong to whoever or whatever was crying earlier. Later, Mo and his friends are joking about a ghost named Tom when suddenly a voice chimes in. I think Tom is here. Many people think that the voice is clearly saying hi. Let me know if you hear it and whether or not you agree. The three friends eventually trip an alarm and rush off the property, completely unaware of the numerous paranormal encounters they have recorded. Now I must quickly acknowledge that this sport is called football everywhere outside of North America. This ghost is a ball hog. Watch the soccer ball. While the first little twist is disturbing enough, the fact that the ball then loosies this Charlie Brown all on its own is even stranger. Those in the comments are wondering how, and I'm guessing it's either remote control activated or something is attached to the torn flap of the ball, which you can see here. Or you know, it could be a ball hogging ghost. I'd prefer that. Ghost Hunter Emacs has some of the creepiest videos in the small but growing Japanese ghost hunter community. Videos with scary moments like this one that will haunt you for a long time. 
He's exploring an abandoned hospital when he senses something paranormal is near. A ghost in the same hallway. It's just there one second at 10 minutes 16 seconds. And within two seconds, it's being pushed back three feet into the closet. Did he really see a wheelchair move by itself while exploring a haunted hospital? Or did someone pull it from off camera? The video looks convincing, but I guess we'll never know. A YouTuber named Battery Phil is exploring a cave in Jamestown, Arkansas and taking a random video with a small keychain video camera. His friend once told him that he had seen a reptilian face suddenly appear in front of him well down here before. But Battery Phil doesn't exactly believe him. So imagine his surprise when he looked at this video much later and saw this creature looking straight at him. Look closely and you can make out the semi-intelligent gaze of a humanoid creature with a single brown eye, a flat nose, and a thin expressionless line for a mouth. It's there for only a moment and then gone. Of course, this could also just be a random rock formation that just happens to somewhat look like a face. I will say that the eye looks extremely realistic above all else, however, so I'm just not sure what to think. What's in the sky over Medellin, Colombia? Lorna Mascura shares this video of a dark unknown object aloft in the clouds. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm in 4K mode now. Like the iPhone, I'm filming on iPhone 13 Pro. I need to zoom more. Guys, what the f is that? The object is far away and it's hard to make out any details from this clip, but it appears dark and doesn't look like it's moving. He captures the surroundings and returns to the unidentified flying object. Honestly, I'm still. Is it the weather balloon, right? This time it looks like a square or cube. A moment later, a plane passes at a distance. Like, look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right. To the right. What is that? The object remains still in the sky for nearly three minutes of the clip. Everyone in the comments is completely perplexed by this video, as am I. I have no clue what it could be. It does not look like a weather balloon at all, and I have no other theories considering it doesn't move. Share your ideas in the comments. This video was taken at night in a parking garage somewhere in West India. A woman was apparently acting normal until she was suddenly attacked by what some bystanders later described as a ghost. Watch this part and tell me if you think she is having delusions or fighting off a spiritual possession. Try to translate if possible too, please. I did not think much of this video until I noticed what could be a strange paranormal disturbance. Some kind of fast-moving white objects repeatedly appear during the harshest times of her struggle. Like here, for instance. <laughs> Poor camera quality makes it hard to tell if these are some kind of spirit orbs or just insects. If these are insects and nothing more, I find it weird that there are only just a few of them and how they only seem to appear during key moments of the video when she is in the most distress. Amanda and her friends want to see if random nodding is really a thing, and so they do something clever that I haven't seen in any other Randonautica videos. They write down what they want to see and never say it out loud just in case the app is listening in. They concentrate on finding a rainbow because they think that this object would be the last thing to be able to creep them out. They were wrong. Randonautica helps them find this unforgettable experience that has them screaming in their car. <laughs> it's a multicolored rainbow fence, followed by a real one not too long after. That can't just be a coincidence, right? A husband and wife are sitting in the living room when one of them notices that the cat toy is moving all by itself. 
When it happens a second time a short while later, they rush to get the phone and start recording what could be an animal spirit in action. Oh my goodness. I spent a long time looking up remote controlled cat toys, and none of them looked anything like this one. This toy is obviously small and soft, while remote controlled pet toys are much larger and are also made of plastic to protect the receiver. Considering the married couple claims to have had a cat pass away years ago, I have little doubt that it's now returning to its favorite toy and to its favorite owners. While visiting Mima Land, YouTuber Fokker Donkey captured a paranormal sighting while out on a ghost hunt. As the guys drive forward, something uncanny drifts past. Did you see it? A pale figure appears on the left. The crew believes this is a Pekong, a Javanese ghost said to be the soul of a passed away person trapped in their shroud. I'm not totally sold on this one, simply because I think it could be a statue in the darkness appearing to drift as they drive past. Then again, it almost looks like it moves upward rather than just sideways. What do you think? A YouTuber named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks about the mysterious encounter that I'm about to show you, the less sense it makes to him and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the whole time. Tell me what's being said during this short interaction in case I'm missing anything important. Something about the man is extremely off-putting and instantly gives this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, they figure there's no harm in trying to ask for directions from him a second time and so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find... <laughs> That the mysterious figure has completely vanished, and it's not like a lot of time has gone by or anything like that. They encounter the strange silent man, keep going for another 20 seconds, turn around, and then drive back for another 20 seconds to where he just was. So not even a minute has passed before the figure mysteriously disappears. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit, he could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India, so maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder, and staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre, so maybe it was a ghost on video after all. This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sophia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sophia confirms that she saw it move too. 
Just a minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Just a Minx home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. A creepy dark road in India looks like the perfect place for a paranormal dash cam video, but not everything has to be a ghost encounter. <laughs> I would gladly welcome an old-fashioned ghost sighting compared to what they've just caught on camera. Anyway, this still image taken at 29 seconds says it all. The jungle cat is fully outstretched and trying to make a meal of them. This looks like a well-practiced move that might have worked in the past. Oh yeah, and the person recording should have definitely alerted the moped instead of letting them blindly pass into harm's way. A YouTuber named The Star Breed notices a bright white object floating upwards and starts recording. The weird object somewhat looks like a street lamp, except it's way up in the air and seems to be heading in the Star Breed's direction at a fast rate of speed. Moments later, it is only a fraction of its original size and hovering directly overhead, twice as high as before. The Star Breed continues to record in total disbelief, not even so much as making a sound, just quietly zooming in. Just when it looks like the unidentified flying object is about to go away, it does something completely different instead. He records a brief strobe light effect and then the UFO is gone. Looking back at the footage, the star breed has little doubt that this was actually an abduction attempt on him that was aborted at the last possible second. I'm not sure if this was a real encounter or just CGI. As I said before, it almost looks like the UFO could be one of the street lamps edited. Take a look at the evidence again and let me know what you think really happened here. YouTube channel called Projects Paranormal makes a startling discovery, which in their mind confirms the presence of a shadow figure haunting their house. The mysterious shadow figure could just be someone walking behind the camera, but it's weird how the shadow doesn't really change shape in the doorway. It should get smaller or disappear in the doorway because of the added depth, but like I said, it doesn't seem to change much at all. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.